Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So this could happen at any time in September, okay? Uh, so the timing is fluid, could, be, could happen later, could happen now, whatever. The timing is fluid. This is a preview of what's to come. So let's see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Pisces for September? Please give me one card for Pisces. There it is. Ooh, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is a this is going to be a month of healing, and we ha and when we have animosity against our parents, it affects all of our other relationships. It really does. So forgiveness is needed. Okay. So this is a month of healing. Let's get a couple of these for Pisces. It's about forgiveness. What do we have for Pisces? Your love life is going to benefit in some way this month. Or I wouldn't say that. You're healing something from your past, from your childhood. One, two, three. Lion, time to take action, Pisces. It's time for you to take action. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. You know what I just heard was that song, Angel. You know, I think it's, well, actually there's two. I just, there's one from Shaggy, you know. And then there's one from Aerosmith. They both just popped in. And it's interesting because I just went to the store and on my way home, I heard the, just now, like 15 minutes ago, I heard the song Angel from Aerosmith. But the one from Shaggy is very prominent as well. So you may be thinking about somebody or there's something to do with an angel here. Uh, and maybe it's from one of your parents. Maybe you have a parent that has passed away that is now your angel. Maybe they're guiding you. You know, maybe it's a mother or a father that is guiding you towards somebody, you know, that can help you to heal. Maybe it's an earth angel. There is some sort of disappointment. There's, there's, maybe you've cut somebody out of your life because scissors cut. It's time for you to take action. Maybe it's time for you to cut somebody out of your life. What do we have for Pisces for September? Four of Swords reversed. Extremely exhausted, fed up. Ah, things are, I mean, you may be dealing with some opposition in your life. Things are, are not going in the right direction. You could be feeling scatterbrained, totally, totally exhausted. This is, this is uh, overwhelmed in some way. Um, this is an emotional outburst or a disaster ahead. Something could be ending, you know, maybe you're not you know, too keen on it, something like that. Now, this is the death of a person or idea. So something may be ending, like I said, maybe ending that, you know, maybe it's very abrupt. Nine of Wands reversed. This is extremely overwhelmed, okay? Um, this is somebody that has a lot of burdens. You may be feeling burned out. I think that you're burned out by your current circumstances.
Now, the nine of wands in reverse is, is somebody that is very disagreeable. You could be dealing with an individual that is very disagreeable. And they may be making you angry. They may want to fight with you a lot. And you're tired of it. I feel like you're just really, really, really tired. You need a break. You need a break from whoever this person is. It feels like somebody is, is causing you a lot of stress. And you're frustrated. And perhaps things seem like they're a little bit out of control. You may be even having problems. You now, this is a vehicle. You know, there's there's problems with the vehicle or problems. If you have a vehicle business, there could be problems with the vehicle business. could be coming to an end. Page of Cups. Two of Cups reversed. Now, this is news. Emotional support. An apology, perhaps, or expressing your feelings. There may be a partnership that has ended. Maybe it ended a long time ago. Maybe it ended suddenly or something. This is an expression of love for a partnership that may have ended because this has ended. Or there we could have a partnership that is ending. It's ending this month because you have to follow your heart. This is about following your heart. Hierophant reverse. Now this is, uh, you know, I don't know. It feels like there's some sort of separation here. The Hierophant reverse is lack of faith, lack of trust. This is being disgraced. feeling disgraced. This is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page and it's not going in the right direction. It's not ending successfully. And I'm not sure what this partnership is. I don't know if it's a it's if it's a job partnership or if it's a relationship, but this is a partnership that is probably ending on a not a good note. There's a lack of compatibility, okay? There is. And there's a lot of uh, disagreements. So you're dealing with somebody that is very disagreeable. It's like it's a constant battle. And you're just waiting. You just never know what's going to happen next. Now, the Nine of Wands reversed is negative repetitive patterns and this is poor counsel you may have received some poor counsel from somebody maybe it was a child of yours maybe one of your children you know gave you some and maybe it's not a child it could whoever this person is they seem to be younger okay i don't know who it is could be a sibling doesn't have to be a child could be a sibling you may have received poor advice from somebody you know maybe this person told you to do something and it was poor advice this is poor advice Now, this is angry, and it's a disaster. This is emotions all over the place. Some of you are going to be experiencing some car issues as well. You, you may want to seek advice from somebody else. I think somebody is giving you some poor advice. Maybe it's one of your children. I don't know why I want to keep saying that. but Or it's a sibling. Well, oh my God. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck. Okay? It's bad luck. It's a delay. It's a setback. It's something not working out. Again, negative repetitive patterns. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt you or bad karma. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reverse could be a shocking, unpredictable loss. It's horrendous. This is very unfortunate. The Wheel of Fortune reverse is unfortunate. You may be... Your emotions, you're probably going to be feeling very emotional this month. 
you know, maybe you need to forgive your father because some of you has to do with your father. It's I think that your father may, maybe there was abandonment from your father. Your father left you when you were young, when you were a child, and and that and then you didn't learn the skills how to be a good partner or something. I don't know if you're a man watching this. If you are a woman, you could be dealing with a man that didn't learn the skills. There's an absent father here. There is. There's an absent father. Okay. And that was a horrendous loss, you know, probably growing up without a father, if that's your case. I don't know. Um, anyway, this is this is a setback, repeating patterns. This is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder that always is defensive, has something to prove. And that could be you. This is somebody that needs to come off that high horse. <clears throat> change their patterns, change their direction, but not using their skills to do so. This is extremely egotistical. Somebody has a chip on their shoulder and is under a lot of social pressure and feels like they need to look a certain way. Anyhow, um, that page of cups is there's going to, you may have some sort of, I mean, the page of cups is, is usually good news. Typically, could be an apology. This is showing your feelings, following your heart, and trusting your gut. I think that you really need to trust your gut. Perhaps you. This is an expression, expression of love to somebody that you may have split from, you may have separated from. Maybe it was a long time ago. There, it was a failure. It didn't, it didn't last. Something didn't work out. There's a partnership here that isn't working out now or it didn't work out in the past this is disgraced and this is disgraced embarrassed we have somebody here that may be embarrassed and this is bad karma this is a huge loss because of poor counsel and because of social pressure so an ego ego and social pressure has caused somebody to make bad decisions This is like a universe card. It's a destiny card. It's reversed. And this is unfortunate. So there's some sort of unfortunate loss here. And this is clinging to control. Repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. These cards right here. Going backwards. Refusing to change. And this is not leading to any type of success. This is not success. And this is not success. So. This six of wands reversed. Is is overinflated ego. And this one is. Do we have somebody here that has an overinflated ego? And it has affected their happiness per se this is still battling fighting all the time something definitely isn't working out that eight of pentacles reverse that's not working out and the same with the wheel of fortune you have a partnership that isn't working out and it could be a work partnership i don't know could be a relationship could be a commitment that you're in something is definitely not going in the right direction something could be coming to a dead stop it just ends just like that all of a sudden King of Pentacles. Now this is this is somebody that is very focused on their money, very focused on their business, their job, their abundance. The King of Pentacles is all about money and abundance and, and wealth. Not partnerships. We have an individual here that is very focused. 
on materialism. This person is very materialistic. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something failed. This is a failure. There's, there's a failed partnership here with this person because somebody didn't put in effort. It may be, it may be a destined th situation. This is destiny. Somebody, you know, may have, you know, tried to be in a relationship or tried to offer love and there, maybe there was a rejection for some reason. Anyhow, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is very much focused on stability and money and their business and their job. And building a strong foundation. Whoever this could be you. This is somebody that is feels like they're losing it all. It is. The wheel of fortune reverse. It's a loss. It's an unfortunate loss of a job or a business. If it's a car business or a vehicle business, that definitely going downhill, going backwards because of uh, ego. Or there's car problems. You know, if if it's not a car business, you may if you buy a car, or you purchase a car, it's not gonna last. Okay, it's a piece of junk and it's gonna break down before you get very far and you wasted your money. This is a dead end right here. It's a dead end. And this is it, this is emotions all over the place. So you may, and I'm not sure you could be dealing with a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could you that could be somebody you're dealing with as well. You even have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I know that there's a lot of frustrations here and feeling the frustrations. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to express your feelings. If there's apology, an apology that is needed, I suggest you do it. That is called stepping outside of your ego. But there is somebody that is, I feel like they're losing it all because of their their the chip on they have on their shoulder and this is the card of karma bad luck and and maybe it's one of your parents that needs an apology i don't know You do have a new beginning here. As soon as you step through, you need to step over that threshold. You need to let go of the past. You, there's a phase that is ending in your life and it's a very prominent phase. This is the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. This is learning a life lesson. You are learning a life lesson and this month, Whatever lessons you have learned is going to come to an end. You have, you will have learned it. Okay? You have learned the lesson. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here. You need to follow your gut. You need to not lie to yourself. I feel like you haven't been listening to your intuition and I feel it's because you've been listening to somebody else's advice. Listen to your own intuition and maybe that's your life lesson. Follow your own gut. Don't listen to other people. This is something again not working out. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is unfaithful, that is lazy, that is unhealthy. This is also a financial loss. Somebody that is inflexible. 
This is somebody that really didn't have any long-term plan or didn't plan effectively. So I, a lot for a lot of you, this has to do with a business or a job that is falling apart. This is unseen problems. There's problems here because you had to learn some. This is a lesson. There's a lesson to be learned about um, society and not listening to your gut. Choosing to live that high life instead of following your gut. Anyhow, Pisces, I do see, this is an ending. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter for you this month. Something that has been really causing you a lot of anxiety, it's been causing you a lot of worry and depression, is coming to an end. It absolutely is. It's out of your control. It is out of your control. I think this has to do with, with karma. Okay, I'm just telling you it does. I think that there's a lack of integrity here. Somebody may not have done something with a lot of integrity. And you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something is coming to a complete stop. Dead end. Done. No more. Done. There's something cooking below the surface right now. It's below the surface. You can't you can't see it, but it is about to uh, come up. This there's a loss of money here as well. You're it's like you're losing money. You may even be losing status or a relationship. But this is stepping forward into a brand new life. There's, there could be a change of residence here. Somebody may be moving. For some of you, I feel like you're dealing, you're dealing with a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Leo. Maybe another Pisces, maybe a Cancer. Anyhow, I feel as though all is not as it seems. There's something that is below the surface that is about to be shown. And it's going to change your path. It's going to cause a significant ending in your life. It's going to give you the ability to go someplace else. This is the start of a new life. By the end, by the, anywhere, like the end. The, from the 17th on from September 17th 18th on I'd say from the 17th to the 21st you are going to experience a major life change you will have learned a big lesson about not following your gut many some of you may have gotten into a relationship just for the security of it But there was no love there. And you may have a new opportunity for love with that page of cups. Whatever is happening, there is some sort of uh, wake up call. This is karma. Being held accountable. Responsibility being assigned. The end of things. This is a life changing moment. Will you be forgiven? This is about forgiveness. There could also be a reconciliation here. Okay? There could be a recon... This is with somebody from the past. So there could be a reconciliation here with somebody from your past. 
Maybe when you were a child. Maybe there's a reconciliation with somebody that, you know, is stable, is secure, but you rejected them because of who knows what reason, social pressure. Or because whoever you chose at that time had money or they could take care of you or was the easiest option. I think whatever happens is that you've reached the point of totally fed up with where you're at. You just can't take it anymore. This is exhausting. And I think that you're, you're just, it's hard to even get up and face the day. And I think your heart wants something different than where you are at. And the only way that you're going to get what you want is to follow your heart and express your feelings. And that's going to take mastering your emotions and having faith, which you haven't been able to do as of yet. So the lesson here is also about following your gut, following your intuition. We have intuition, gut, and these three cards. And you have not been doing that. You've been ignoring, burying your feelings with addictions, perhaps, drugs, alcohol, pills, whatever. It's time to face the music. There's an opportunity for some sort of reconciliation here with somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be a lover. It's, it's, there's been some sort of deception. And I think a lot of it is self-deception. You deceiving yourself because of pride. Anyhow, there is a chance for forgiveness. But it comes with honesty and truth. Somebody is going to be receiving some sort of, this is being assigned, being assigned uh, responsibility for what they did. And maybe that's what's happened here. Maybe that's why we have this horrendous loss going backwards because of karma. Because karma is a bitch. And this is a cycle. You have the power to break the cycle. If you stop repeating the patterns that you have been repeating over and over and over again. This is an apology. This is remorse. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Somebody needs to hear those words. We do have a new chapter that is going to begin as soon as you... stop hiding your true feelings. Good luck. <laughs>